Hi everyone, it's time for another art project with me, Miss Emily. This week, our art project is based on the book Over and Under the Pond that I read in front of Josephine Ford's Playhouse. If you didn't get a chance to check out the video, check out the book at your local library or maybe try online or a local bookstore because I think this is a really great book, especially if you like science or love exploring. The reason I had read this book is because although we're not Ford House isn't on a pond, we're on a lake, we still have all sorts of different things in that lake that we can see if we go onto the lake or get close to it on the shoreline. This story has a mom and a son in a canoe going around wondering what's below them in the water and looking at the shoreline. So today you're going to make your own art project that shows what you think is in the water and what might be beside you on the shoreline. For this project, you will need some scissors, a pencil, you'll need art supplies, colored pencils, crayons, markers, you can use all of them, a hole punch, or an X-Acto knife that your parent or caregiver will use, You'll also need some fasteners. Sometimes people call them brads. They have a circle and then on the back they have little metal prongs that can fold flat. And you'll also need the template that we have provided. As some of our other projects, I have said, print it on cardstock. And if you can't print on cardstock, print it out, cut it out, and trace it onto cardstock because it'd be good to have a nice strong piece of paper. Your template for this project would be a circle and a semicircle. Now, I'm gonna let you get all these supplies together and I'll show you what you're going to do with this. But go ahead and cut out your semicircle and your circle and we'll get back together and I'll show you what you draw on which piece. Once you have your circle and your semicircle cut out, before you start decorating, I would suggest hole punching close as you can to the circle. This is where I actually think a pencil would come in handy for this one. Just poke a hole and then when you put the fastener in it'll help. Okay so we're done with the scissors and that. What you're gonna do You'll notice these don't always match up perfectly after you cut them, and that's okay. It's good to have the this to hold on to so you can spin it, and this will all make sense at the end. Okay, we're going to start with the semicircle. You want to draw in this space you and a friend or a family member or someone who's special to you on the water. So I'm going to put a little bit of water at the bottom. I'm going to put I actually think I'm going to be inspired by the book, so I'm going to put the mom and the son in their canoe, and then I'm going to draw the weather up here. I think it's going to be a sunny day, and then maybe a little bit of shoreline in the back. That is what goes on here. What you'll put on this circle is everything that's under the water. All the little things you might see, the fish, maybe animals that dive underwater to get the fish, anything like that. What the bottom would look like with rocks and seaweed or kelp or, I believe Lake St. Clair has some zebra mussels, so you might put some zebra mussels in. That is an invasive species, so you could put them in your drawing and know that you need to take them out of the water. But you really want to put fill this space with as much detail about the water and the fish and such. You can use a pencil and do a really light drawing on it and then use markers, colored pencils if you have some crayons and go over it and make it really detailed. For this, I'm just going to show you a little bit of this drawing. So like I said, I'm going to put some water and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use markers from my outline, but then I'm gonna go back in with my colored pencils and color in. And they're in a canoe, so we're gonna just put the boat 
right there in the water. And again, I'm going to fill in with the colored pencils. Now, I'm not very good at drawing people, so I'm going to wait to draw the people while we decorate on our own. But, like I said, I think today is a beautiful sunny day. So I'm going to draw a big old sun. And yellow is my favorite color. I'm going to use some colored pencils to maybe draw in some clouds. It's just some wispy clouds. It's hard to see in this light. It's just kind of wispy ones. And maybe some birds. I'm a bit of an abstract artist, so I'm gonna just use some simple lines and shapes and such. Add some details from the sun. And then, like I said, I'm going to fill in with colored pencils just to add a little difference between the markers. The color. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to draw the people in just a little bit. I'll show you just a few things I might draw here. So under the water, I think there would probably be some rocks. So I'm going to put some rocks towards the center. Oh, you know what I forgot to put on here? Something that seems to be all over Lake St. Clair, fish flies. They're kind of a weird color. They have a lot of legs and antennas. They seem to be everywhere. So I'm just gonna draw some abstract fish flies. Okay. And I bet there's some fish. So I'm going to draw some fish, maybe some bigger fish. And, hmm, wonder what else might be, maybe some plants. some algae or some seaweed of some kind. But there's some algae on these rocks. All right, so I've started my circle, I've started drawing. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill all of this in. I'm going to add my mom and son to the canoe and then we'll get back together to show how to construct this. And I'll give you a hint, it's gonna look something like that. Okay, now it's your turn. Go ahead and go decorate your under the water scene, your above water scene, and we'll get back together soon. Once you've decorated your circle and your semicircle with as much detail or as little detail as you want, it's time to put them together. You're going to match up whatever hole punches you've made, take your fastener, punch it through, turn it over, and flatten it. Just like that. And then you have a changeable art project. And as you spin it, all the artwork that you drew 
all the wildlife becomes seen. So I have some zebra mussels, some fun water plants, some tadpoles, a beaver, and fish and lily pads. And then on top, I have the mom and son from our story. There we go. Thank you all for making a movable, changeable art project with me today. Be sure to check out FordHouse.org for more information on story time going into August and beyond in the fall. I hope to see you guys at Ford House very soon for a walk, and you all have a fantastic week. Bye now.